everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome back to my sewing room. Except that today we are about to leave my sewing room and head off to Everett, Washington because I am taking you along with me today as I go in and perform in two performances of Cinderella. So I am an external understudy in Cinderella at Village Theatre and the show has actually been performing since November 18th. Today is January 14th. It first performed in Issaquah and then moved to Everett at the beginning of this month. And two days ago on Thursday, was the first time that I wound up going in for the show. So as an external understudy, I am on call and I can be called up at any time to wind up going into the show. I cover two tracks in the show. I cover one ensemble track and I also cover Queen Constantina and both of the actors that I cover are also understudies. So the person that I cover in the ensemble, she will wind up playing the stepmother if the stepmother goes out and then the queen winds up playing the fairy godmother if the fairy godmother goes out. And as it turns out, on Thursday, unfortunately, the person who normally plays the stepmother was injured. And so the person who is in the ensemble who covers the stepmother has now been playing her for two performances already. And I have been playing her track in the ensemble for two performances already. We're doing another two performances each today. We have a matinee and an evening show. And I will find out partway through today if I also will wind up going on tomorrow. So it's very kind of last minute and on call. And Dora has not seen me much in the last couple of days. So she wants some attention and I'm going to give it to her since I'm about to head out the door. But I am taking you with me so that you can kind of see like, what's it like day in the life professional actor understudy swing etc. I know this is completely different from my normal sewing content and I honestly don't know how much I will be able to show you. I obviously can't show you the actual show because of copyright reasons but I am going to take you backstage with me as long as other people are okay being in the video because otherwise it's going to be rather challenging to film this but I'm going to try to take you backstage with me so that you can see a bit of what goes on backstage and kind of just how a two show day works. The one issue with this theater is that Everett is really freaking far away so today is a Saturday there's like no traffic it's only going to take an hour to get there. On Thursday at rush hour trying to get up there when I-5 literally broke a little bit north of Everett it took me two hours and five minutes, so hopefully today will be pretty good. I am carpooling with my friend Ben. He's in the orchestra and he's also like the substitute conductor. Today he's going to be playing in the orchestra, I think both shows. Actually, no, I think he might be conducting the matinee today. But yeah, we are going to head up there because we're two of the most southern people who are in this production. And let's go ahead and head up to the theater. Do you need a hug before I go? I will give you a hug before I go. Here you go. Oh, you need a hug. You need a hug. Okay, can I put you down now? By the way, before I go, I guess just so you can get kind of a little timeline of my day, it is 10.50 right now. Uh, we're leaving here at like 11. I'm probably going to run over to Starbucks really quickly because it's right by my house before I hop in with Ben to carpool up there. But yeah, the morning consisted of me waking up at about like 9.40ish, putting on makeup, getting dressed, etc. Spending a little time with these crazy fur little people and that's about it. So I haven't warmed up yet or anything. I'm hopefully going to be able to do a little bit of that in the car or at the theater. I have to be there. I have to be there at 1230 for a one o'clock show. I would like to be there at about noon for the one o'clock show. So Dora is now eating my elbow. Really girl? Anyway, so now we're going to go ahead and head up. my space right there.
guys, this is Cinderella. <laughs> yes, hello. <laughs> I have to get my wig on. Yeah, just go get your hair. <laughs> This is the fabulous fairy godmother, Cassie. Hey, fairy, how you doing? Amazing costume. It's from Express. First, first costume. Town's person. Sorry. Yes. We just got our places called. Time to go do the first show. See you in a bit. Just finished the first opening number, which means I'm actually done for this act. So now I have a really, really long time till the second act when I get to go to the ball. We're going adventuring to another dressing room. Here are Candace and Cassie again. Hi. Hiding back. Oh, look at Cassie all relaxed. That's right. That wasn't put on. <laughs> this is the queen. <laughs> oh yes, the royal. Yes. Look at this gorgeous costume. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Those Watteau pleats, if you will. This is Jason, he is our amazing Lionel. He's all ready for the ball, you know, that the prince is giving. <laughs> he is giving a ball. He is giving. <laughs> so today this is Melena, our fabulous dresser. Oh, I missed your little foot flick. Get it, get it a minute, there we go. Is it a picture or is it a video? It's video, oh. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> As you take out the table. Is it a picture or video? It, 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 <laughs> It is video. This is James. You haven't met James yet. He is our prince. And oh my gosh, look at the royal Candace queen. Hi again, everyody. Those costumes. Work it. I can't forget the masks. Oh, yeah. It's a masquerade ball. It's a masquerade ball. The second act moves very fast because there's more to do. The whole first sequence is like 15 minutes long with the ball. And then I've just done the search. And now there's just a little bit of time to the wedding and the end of the show. And there's Cassie. <laughs> show one is now done. So now we've got like a, how long is this break? Like really long? Oh my God, it's really long. Four hour break. So now we have a four hour break where I brought my laptop to edit a video and there's a jigsaw puzzle out in the green room and I'll eat dinner at some point, but it's a really freaking long break. Here's our jigsaw puzzle that we're working on. This is Olaf. He's been working on a lot of the puzzle. <laughs> the puzzling has gotten very intense as we are nearing completion. It's a race. It's a race against our break. <laughs> I got one. We are so close, but I there's think we're out here. of pieces. Oh, the, yes, there's okay. two. And there's how three. Many? We've got two that need to be here. And how many there? There's oh, probably there's... some underneath the table. Is it just these two? It's just yep. those two. Oh my god. Or three? That's two. It's just two. All right, I'm going to move this. One. Okay. Oh, oh this is scoot. This is scoot. It's full of dust, honey. It's going to like have a bunch of. How about under the couch? No! Under the couch. It is highly suspicious that the two that are missing are connected. Yeah, I yeah, know, right? it is. Someone's gonna walk. I found one of the pieces. The other piece is nowhere. All right. Are you gonna dig through? Oh yeah, I yeah. am. Also, not to be totally meta, but here I am editing a video. I've only gotten 16 minutes done because I haven't been focusing very well but I've been editing this video for you guys, which I think is the video you're gonna see next Tuesday, if I'm thinking correctly. It's almost time for the second show. I'm back in costume. Didn't record anything after the puzzle, but it was nice to have finished it almost. And now it's time for show number two. Act one is done for me now. I wish I could show you little clips of the show. If I can find some of like the promo footage, I will try and insert that here. Obviously I'm not gonna be in it, but that's okay. So um, yeah, maybe there's some promo footage right here. Otherwise I'll see you a little later. And won't believe what sensible people say. And be 
because these daft and dewy-eyed dopes keep building up impossible hopes, impossible. Things are happening every day. Time for act two again. Let's go to the ball. It is just about the end of the show, so I'm not sure if I will talk to you after the actual end or if I'm just gonna try and speed up and get out of here so I don't have to make Ben wait and then maybe I'll talk to you in the car on the way home or just when I get home at the very end of the day. It's been a long one. Well, it is 11.15 p.m. and I am finally back home. I've been gone for over 12 hours. It has been a long day, but a good day. And it was kind of exciting because actually we wound up having another understudy on for tonight's show. So there were three of us total, which was I think the most we've ever had in the show. But whew, I'm tired. So I am going to end this here. I am actually on in the show again tomorrow. So it's been a busy week of what since Thursday night I've been in the show. So Thursday and then Friday we had a run during the day for understudies and then a show and then so kind of two and then two shows Saturday and one so six shows since Thursday so yeah pretty pretty busy so I'm gonna end it here hopefully you enjoyed this completely different video content for me I know that a lot of you have kind of been wanting to come into the theater stuff that I do and yeah let me know if you like this type of video because I will try to do stuff like whenever I'm in a show and share that with you guys. So if you liked this video, please go ahead and click the thumbs up icon. If you'd like to see more videos like this from me, please go ahead and click subscribe and the little bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. I do post videos here on YouTube twice a week with my sewing vlogs out on Tuesdays and other random, sometimes non-costuming content like this out on Saturdays, but I post every day over on my Instagram. So please go follow me on Instagram. That's at Lady Rebecca Fashions. And if you'd like to help support all of the work that I do on this channel, I do have a link to my Patreon and my Ko-fi down in the description below, or you can send me a super thanks right here on YouTube. I'd also like to give a special shout out to my Edwardian level patrons, Sharon, Mirage, and Laura. Thank you all so, so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Happy sewing!